Hey everyone, Sen Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the second episode of the second season of Machi Kado Mazoku. And last episode we pretty much got the series back, all our familiar characters, Shamiko, Momo, Mikan, and the Ancestor who got confiscated in the episode, quite, quite a sad event. But we also had positive events like changes in living situations and a nice good meal together. It was a good episode. It's also the date between <laughs> Shamiko and Momo, definitely a highlight to be sure. But yeah, I'm really happy we got the show back really eager to get into into seeing more of it so let's jump on in three two one play. there it is okay I hate it yeah please don't touch it I still think we should get rid of it. For several reasons. Ancient China. Some light reading. <laughs> well, yeah, they kind of are. <laughs> yeah, that might be a bit of a better choice. I feel like she was not reading that right. Silly. <laughs> yes, you know. She go to school like full gyaru, you know? That'd be something. <laughs> okay, I mean, I, I actually quite like that. Cause she wear that all the time. <laughs> That's still an amazing way to start the the, the opening, like tapping your rod, your magical rods together. Uh, you know what it's you know you know what they say. It's not gay if rod, magic rods don't touch, but they they clearly touch there. So it's very telling. Imagine if she, you know, she went to school and in, in her, you know, exhibition uniform. <laughs> yeah, well, that was quite the development. Yeah, she we had squirting from her. That is true. I mean it probably is. But don't get to mix up with that. <laughs> I I mean, yeah. Oh no. We really shouldn't do that. 
mean, there's so many reasons not to do that. Yeah, let's not disturb, disturb the neighborhood. It's <laughs> uh. quite the the uh coloring on her face there. Well, we're off. Keep out authorized personnel only. <laughs> what? Nothing good ever comes from that. <laughs> Getting really into this. <laughs> I love just kind of watching the tail in that entire scene. Famous devil. Right, so that's how that all connects. <laughs> yeah, definitely something worth writing down. <laughs> Yeah, I would love to hear about that. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. This is great. <laughs> wow, these two. <laughs> oh, that was insanely cute. Anyway, I am all about getting this flashback. They're both just so tiny and adorable. Also, what is she holding exactly? Not anymore. <laughs> I told you. Apparently she can. Mikan chan. Right. Her behavior here definitely makes sense. Want to keep her distance, you know, and everything. Like that. But I mean, Momo can probably take it. Yeah, she's magical. It looks even more adorable when she transforms. Wow. Yeah, that's truly looks like a magical girl, even more so than like Big Momo. <laughs> yeah, there, there's the tears. And that is what exactly? <laughs> what? How? How? Also, I love the hardcore blush on her. 
Oh, <laughs> you giddy. I, if you say so. Yeah. It really was, you know. If it wasn't for you being in the show, that would have been enough for me to ship those two. <laughs> well, we know how to set up Momo now. That, did that lock say super hard? I was late trying to read it. <laughs> I mean, of course. Why didn't she just get <laughs> dive bombed by penguins? <laughs> uh, I would assume it's related to your curse. Uh, <clears throat> Goodbye, old friend. Did she raise her hand with her tail? <laughs> what a good assistant. <laughs> That's not a text. <laughs> Sakura meant cannon. That's just an amazing name. <laughs> Kablamo. <laughs> yeah, that one we were, we heard about before. I remember that one. Twice. Yeah, I can kind of see that shape being like part of a, like a, you know, pedal. Don't hurt yourself, Shabby. Come on. Also, how are we already halfway through the episode? I see you can kind of tell the, the shape a little bit. Right. Did you find her core? Is it a soul gem? Naturally. Cicada. I assume it would be like a girly shape in some form. Could be a factor. More than necessary. No. <laughs> huh. Just no big deal. Just I guess made a styrofoam. <laughs> yeah, what'd you say? I don't remember. What was that? A clue about where we need to look? Is that like the Sakura's voice? Well, that's a wand. 
<laughs> like it's an old school RPG. <laughs> I found something, Momo. A fork. That that that's a fork. <laughs> Momo, 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 I, I found a fork. <laughs> I swear it looked different a second ago. Please don't look at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> You're not helping your situation. <laughs> he just sounds especially crazy now. But I saw it too. <laughs> Where shall we go? Well, I'll take it. Just be glad you, know, you don't have horns. <laughs> hey, I, we saw that character in the opening. <laughs> so that's who it was. <laughs> if anyone would get heat stroke, it would be, yeah, it would be her. <laughs> <laughs> Safe distance, please. Is that a foot? Oh, God. No, thank you. <laughs> I, I guess it could. I'm sure that blob will be relevant going forward. <laughs> He's like, I never get to have any fun. <laughs> it was a wand, I swear, goddammit. I, I think so. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> the dad had a pretty girly wand. <laughs> It was probably a hard name. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> but... <laughs> Foreign sounding. That narrows it down. Can you help at all? Ah. Uh. Mm. I'm trying to think myself. I don't think I can come up with anything. Uh. <laughs> Fork, the ultimate weapon. Getting kind of close there, mother. <laughs> to try and rack. Hmm. 
Right, so... <laughs> She's really hung up on that. <laughs> She's just smacking her in the head with her tail. <laughs> Could you imagine just being smacked in the head with Chamiko's tail? A reaction against something. Is that a bigger fork? <laughs> it looked like it's just a bigger, scarier looking fork. Oh god. I mean, at least now it can kind of be used as a weapon. You know, if we don't get crushed beneath it. <laughs> Imagine somebody asks you why your back hurts and you have to try to explain what just happened there. Oh wow! I mean, <laughs> it it is a cylindrical object. <laughs> I mean, you, that would be quite useful in combat. I mean, if it come, become cylinders, there's an obvious joke there. Though. <laughs> but... You never know. <laughs> Yeah. This is so just silly. Can it become a water bottle? Are we gonna try to make it something silly from to make Mama laugh? I wouldn't mind having a supply just trying to make Momo laugh. <laughs> let's let's do it. I'm really curious how this is gonna go. <laughs> okay. Eat pots again. <laughs> Didn't quite work. I think mean, I would like to try more than once, but oh well, I guess we didn't have much time. I mean, the funny thing was just how, you know. The lack of confidence that she had as she tried to do it, you know. Could you imagine Momo just like bursting out laugh laughing? That's what I think it'd probably make your heart melt if you actually got to see it. I could even ancestor has like a come has a, like a yukata there. Don't do that. Oh, wow, that's an outfit. <laughs> She's dancing a trash can. Okay. Oh, freaking Shamiko. Okay. Well, that was the um, the second episode of Machikado Mazaku Season 2. And it was another good episode, for sure. So, what was the first thing that happened again? 
I mean, we had this stuff with the... I mean, we had some, like, recap in the first season, or first episode. <laughs> but we also had more Mekon boxes. Turns out the, the father box is not exactly one of a kind. There's all sorts of them. And some people want us to, want us to get, them, get them mixed up, which is not a good idea. Really, you shouldn't get the, the box, the, the important father box, mixed up with just a random regular box. That, that Nothing good can come of that. So really, really, you shouldn't be doing that. But... but we also got some good, like, backstory stuff with Mikan and Momo, right? And I like just how fired up about this, about hearing this stuff that Shamiko got. That was also one of the good parts of it, you know, her and Mikan just getting all kind of excited together. And right before we transition into the actual flashback itself, and then we get to see adorable little Momo and adorable little Mikan, and, you know, Mikan being kind of, like, reserved because she doesn't want her curse to cause people trouble. Very understandable, but Momo just breaks the lock and comes on in, and... It's it's all good. She reassures her that she'll be fine because she's a powerful magical girl. So it's it's all good, and they have a nice moment together. And then we see those very unique, special onigiri rice ball jelly filled donuts, right? And uh, yeah, not pro probably not safe to eat. But we did have Momo show up eventually in that scene at pretty much the perfect time. But yeah, pretty much we're on a mission to like uh, investigate some runes essentially for for some kind of clue about. About Sakura, that's her name, right? I hope I'm not messing that up. But we are we are looking for her, you know, the sister. And I didn't get I didn't really get a chance to look at the notebook properly, so I'm gonna do that now. Goals for summer vacation. The uh, plunge, plunge the pink girl into darkness, the easy way. Take advantage of weakness, suggest taking a shortcut. Somehow make it work so that Momo falls to the dark side. Eggplant, frying pan, cucumber, ask Momo if plastic wrap it's okay to buy. I read that in the wrong order, but it, it's all good. It just, it's just, it's a big mixture of stuff. <laughs> but she wasn't supposed to read all that. Also, yes, yeah, the Sakura Mint Cannon. <laughs> That's, it's quite the attack. It does some real damage. But we eventually did find something valuable there, being like the, um, because we were looking for the, the core, I guess, but I guess we didn't find that. We found like the um, the special we special family weapon of Shamiko's. I guess we got. I guess we can. I guess we can call it that. But it, like, cause it looked like a wand at first, and then Shamiko touched it, and suddenly it became a fork. <laughs> it's just a shot of her being like, it's some kind of wand that she holds a fork up all excitedly. <laughs> that's that's a, it's quite a funny image out of context. But nobody believes her that it was a special wand just a few seconds ago. But. Apparently, Sean because idea of a weapon is, is a fork because of, you know, what she watches on TV. Uh, that, that was pretty funny in and of itself. I also got some disgusting little meatloaf blob looking thing with like a foot, a little hand. Ugh. Those two things alone just make it ten times more disgusting and creepy, but that, that, that was a thing. But we were, we, were, we were able to transform the fork into other things like a, a bigger fork in a pen. So there's some, there's some potential to make good use of it going forward. But her just being crushed underneath the fork. That's a yeah, freaking Shamiko. But yeah, then she had the idea to try to make Momo laugh with her, you know, with her magical item. And But yeah, the Ipatsuge, you know, the joke that she did try to do. Um, oh, I, I just forklift or whatever. Just, it obviously wasn't good. I don't know if the Japanese you know, joke there was any better. I I tried to listen to the Japanese and I still didn't quite get what it what it what it was. But so if you get the original joke, please let please let me know in the comment section below. But the translated one definitely wasn't really funny at all. But the best part of it wasn't even the joke. It was her the blushing, the hushed voice. You know, she said it with the lacking of confidence. You know, I wrote it in her eyes. That was like the real comedy of the scene. So I, I enjoyed it on that basis. And of course, the other half of what made that scene good was Momo's reaction to it, because <laughs> she had kind of like a like a half smile, like a you know, because obviously she's kind of a little bit troubled about how to even respond to that. <laughs> but, but so yeah, it was still pretty good, you know, regardless of the actual comedic nature of the joke itself, it was still definitely a good good little bit there. But she tried. That's the important thing. But. Yeah, it was a good episode. We have a new interesting addition to the show with this new magical item, and there's going to be a lot of potential with that as far as things to, to happen in the future. But that's it for this episode, so thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed my reaction, too, and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.